Oh, it's loaded. That's faster than anticipated. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, as usual, I'm having my breakfast. Okay. Uh... Oh, right, yeah, you get press. Pick up. 19 minutes left. I think my clothes should be completely thought out now. Except for socks, okay. So socks take a little bit longer. Alrighty. I don't know what the accessories are. I haven't seen that yet, even in the uh, faffing about I was doing in Free Roam. No afflictions. Uh, take torch. There we go. Now, you can also find coal in some caves. So I'm hoping to find some coal. Because if you adding coal to fire adds a great deal of time. But your fire has to be burning for X period of time already. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Oh, already found light. That was fast. Normally this might take some time, but... Oh, that's it from above. Bones. Oh no. So the torch. Take I'll take that. Nice. I'll take that as well. Ooh. Nice. Lost in the storm. Read text. Uh, I love the others, but the storm turned really bad. I couldn't keep up. She. Some turned back to see if they could take out the old church. I kept going to find the wrong turn. I backtracked. Blah blah blah. Letter assigned Alice. I'll take it for whoever wants it. Keep forgetting you have to hold X. I'll take lantern fuel, sure. And that was a sewing kit, I believe, as well. Uh, I can't take coal yet. Uh, no accelerant. I don't want to use the accelerant. Kinda wish I had a lantern. There's a opening way at the front there. To the... Oh, I feel like there's gonna be a bear in here. I'm not even gonna explore. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> just, I don't want to get attacked by a bear. Like this is one of those games where it's like I see survival games or whatever, and it's like, oh, you build your build your house, and it's like, okay, you built your house, you can survive forever now, build a farm. And this one is not that. Like that's why I love this game is because it's just what is it? Northern Canadian wilderness. I have personally seen that. I have personally been there. No, <laughs> it's not an easy to survive environment. Oh shit. No, that's a wolf. Whoops. It only has a little bit, but it's better than nothing. So now this is going to introduce the predators, I guess, into the game. Torch is almost out anyways. Shit. Wolves are not dogs, and they're here are very dangerous. They normally avoid humans, but do you want to take a chance? Most things in nature, wolves are afraid of fire. Campfires, torches, or flares can keep them at bay. Throwing torches or flares might scare them away, but there are no guarantees in the end. The best uh, avoid them and give them a wide berth. Remember, they are attracted to blood and raw meat. You mean like the one in my inventory? Oh, you can light a torch. Feels like night is coming. I wouldn't doubt night is coming.
Jerry. We need to get... I want to find shelter before it's too late. Is that, that's a road. Yeah, that's a sign on the side of the road, it looks like. No, that's just a downed log and a... That is a road. Civilization. Look at that. Great. I'm not as lost as I thought. Okay, so I think that sign, they kind of put it there to show you that, yeah, you can't go that way. Because, you know, oh, the cliff's collapsed, sort of thing, right? Uh, locked? No, good. So, if it's locked, you need a pry bar to open it. I think if I, okay, no, you have to actually enter the vehicle. Take shelter, yeah, you, cars can serve as shelters, protecting you from deadly wind and wildlife. You might even find supplies left in the companies, blah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Dust in my face. So you can search the glove box. Excellent. Yeah, summit soda. And you can also, also known as Mountain Dew. <laughs> you can also do this. I don't know what that does. I have not really found anything in there. I don't think you can... Yeah, there's nothing else. I thought maybe I could look in from the outside and see if there was anything in the car itself like that, but... Okay, there's a hiking trail to the right. Uh, I'm just going to take a peek. I'm not actually going to go that way. Because you don't want to go too far off the path. Because usually if you follow the road, you're going to find a house. Uh, but this way... Might be a path to something else. Like, there could be a hunter's lodging somewhere over there. And then you'd find maybe a gun and some ammo. It's one of those things where it's like you, you take paths. You search. Oh, I don't have any raw meat. I don't think I'm sure. I think I already ate it all. Guess Astrid could have ended up there. Oh, did I see other footprints? Yeah, so this is the geomagnetic storm, whatever. Yeah, see, pry bar. Uh, it needed... It's it's rough. Like, it just it destroyed all electronics and stuff, so I'm guessing these people were all going somewhere and their cars died. I probably shouldn't be checking every car because, you know, I got time. <laughs> like, I have time to... But I got time and I keep meaning to say I have to go. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, cloth. There we go, guys. See? My torch is running out. That's not good. Oh. All right, see? Okay, you can see in the window and see stuff. Which is great. Pry bar? Ooh, accelerant, that's not bad. That tinder, don't need it. Newspapers just work as tinder plugs or whatever, or uh, fuel to light the flame. Oh! Those are wolf paws. Those are wolf tracks. Wind is starting to pick up, it looks like. Okay, this is... This is where it starts to get a little, uh, ungood. Oh, what button? Really? Minus 11, okay. Don't want to do that. And a car right there, that's good. Yeah, this is dead. This is this is about dead. Just put it out of my thigh. So now there's no light. It's snowing. Well, that's not good. <laughs> well, that's food. Uh so, uh, 350, 350. Cold? Oh, I guess cold food actually has a difference on you. I guess? Wait, can I sprint while sitting down? I'm holding L. Okay, no. I was holding R1. I thought it might actually decrease my um, sprint meter. Even though I'm standing completely still. There we go. Drink some water. Or pop. Because this will also give you a bit of calories as well as... 
uh, giving you liquids. I'm going to have a quick drink of my uh, my breakfast. Ah. Fruit smoothie. It's uh, blueberry raspberry with vanilla yogurt and some orange juice and milk. Super tasty. I remember eating somewhere where the guy was like, there's so much sugar in those things, it's disgusting. More than a can of pop. It's like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Like, pop has refined sugars. Fruits have unrefined sugars in them. Like, they have natural sugars. Oh, shit. I can see it, like, right in front of me. Okay, I can do that. Good. There he is. I think. Yeah, that's it. I don't know if that was a fox or a wolf or what. I don't even know if there's foxes in this game. I have no idea where I am. I have no idea this location. Like, back when this was early access, I played it quite a bit. There's a few videos on my channel of it, but this... I have no idea where I'm going. I'm trying to stay off the road just because that's where I think the predators will be... My head feels thick. My head feels thick. Like, I want to stay close to the road, but not on the road directly. My logic is that, you know, wolves will be more likely to be on the road. I mean, that's wrong, but... But still. Okay, I'm actually on the road again. Uh, I don't see anything that looks like it could be the... Outline of a house. Oh, shit. Well, that's ungood. Oh. Could this be a hunter's cabin? This could be a hunter's cabin. If I could find the door. I'm so cold and warm up again. Oh, there's the door. Yeah, there we go. It might not be a hunter's cabin, it might just be a cabin. Hmm. Not a cabin, but just a thing. Oh, Jesus. In the middle of, uh... Nowhere. <laughs> Alright, that didn't work. Oh, I have a 48% torch. Perfect. There we go. So I can sleep on a bed. Uh, water. Can't use those. Uh, I can break this shelf down if I have an axe. Or a hatchet. Hacksaw. Uh, oh, hey. I can break it down to make it into materials. Or wood for uh, the shelf. The shelf becomes reclaimed wood. Nice. And the, the uh, metal shelf becomes a... Uh, that's what I'm looking for here. Scrap metal, which you can use to repair metallic items. Jerry can is for filling up uh, lanterns. That's actually a place in the game, that red thing there. Poorly drawn in this, but still a thing. Broken metal door. Yeah, yeah, hacksaw. Oh, first aid, that's good. Antiseptic. Break that down. Ba, ba, ba. I think... I think I'm just going to have to sleep for the night. 
You have lit the bed on fire. Damn it! Uh, let's see. What are my calories? What's my stats? My calories could use a bit more. I'm not the tiredest, but at least I'm not freezing to death. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Let's go seven hours, I guess. Because in Canada, the nights are long. <laughs> like, we're getting to the point where it's starting to get night out around, like, night time at, like, 9 o'clock. Mm. Look at that time. Look at look at this. I can't see shit. Like you can't see shit. It's great. Uh, let's go food. Okay, let's go with this because it also give me water. There we go. The reason why is because uh, some of these things reduce. I didn't know you could eat cat cow stock. You have to try that someday. Dry and crunchy. Dry. Hint. <laughs> hint, hint, hint is what it should say. And water. The thing is, I can get tons of water now. I have the uh, water tablets, so I can just, like, you know, clean water out relatively easy. 32%. Uh, see, it's still not actually morning time. There we go. I was wondering why, like, I was like, how do I light this thing? Wouldn't let me choose it, wouldn't let me light it, help me. Okay, there was actually a path I could have found. Oh yeah, look, look at that, it actually has a wooden path going over to it. This is good because now I can actually see some stuff, at least a little bit. I should probably find, like, the road again. Now, you should only actually, like, honestly, you should only travel during the day when you can see your surroundings. Because that's how, if traveling at night is how you get lost. Which is never a good thing. But since I'm actually just wandering in the wilderness in this video game, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, could have broken a leg there. Which is an actual thing that'll happen. Wait, what? Again? Why is it getting... Oh, I guess it's just because... The, uh... Okay. Yeah, that's garbage now. I'm guessing it's just because of the way it works. Like, it's it's snowing, you're getting water on your stuff, your stuff is getting wet. Which leads to me to believe there'll be stuff that's completely waterproof. Man, I remember back in the day when I was playing this game and I got like, just an OP build. Just, I had a pea coat or something like that, then I had some other stuff. It was just like my guy could just stand out in the wall, like the middle of this, like it was nothing. I think that's the road over there. See, I, okay, so if you look at the way the lighting works, I think, if I'm correct, the lighting actually, as you lose light from your torch, the light, ex like, around it completely starts to diminish as well. Yeah, this is a giant log I'm sitting next to. It's... Oh, these are uh, barriers. Yeah, so I'm next to a road. So that's the road again. Now, I have to be careful and I have to listen. One sec, actually. Because <laughs> the headphones I'm using, actually, sorry about the sound. They actually sit in my ears. I usually put them in my ears. One sec. Okay, the mic should be in a fine spot. It's actually resting against my beard, unfortunately, which will get a little bit of scratching every now and then. Mm -hmm. 
So that thing I just did dropped fresh gut. That's a decoy. Uh, you drop decoys for predators to go after and ignore you. That I got from the rabbit. I do like how I could see his eyes though. <laughs> like, I could see the uh, wolf's eyes. And I could hear it too. Thankfully, I took the headphones out. <laughs> Uh, open you. Okay, this this reminds me of when I was like trying to survive in the game before, and it was just like, uh, how did you survive? Oh, I just ran from a group of wolves, a pack or whatever. Feet. I can't feel my feet. But I ran from a pack of wolves and I just hid in a truck. I just got in the truck, and I hid there. I can't really see into it, but I think the, I don't think there's anything in there. I don't think there is, but I'm going to check anyways. All right, exit vehicle, exit vehicle. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, shit. I think I have an idea of where I am, though, now. Because I came over that one bridge. Ah, oh, sun's coming up. Perfect. And now there's this bridge over here, which means I think over there might be the farmhouse. Maybe. I do know there are survivors in this game now, which is one of the things they said they were going to add eventually, which they totally did. And it's the way they described it in the Kickstarter, if I remember correctly, was you have to make a choice. Do you help other people? Or do you stick up only for yourself, save yourself, and potentially end another person's life? So you can survive. And that was one of the uh, big selling points to me was that it actually seemed like a real survival game rather than just one of those like, go here, build a shelter, you get your stuff done up. Oh, oh, lights on. Ooh. Might be meeting my first survivor soon. So David Hayter. This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Does a voice in the game. Smoke from the chimney. Someone's also light. <laughs> like, hmm, I wonder if there's anyone in this house that's lit up. <laughs> 